Hello everyone, I'm Sam. In some scenarios, physical link aggregation can replace air interface lag to increase the bandwidth and reliability of integrated IP microwave to transmit Ethernet services. Then, what is EPLA? Microwave links between sites are like intercity expressways. The capacity of expressways is relatively fixed. When vehicle traffic exceeds the capacity of an expressway, the situation can be alleviated by constructing more roads. Similarly, when microwave bandwidth is insufficient, it can be expanded by setting up more microwave links. The problem then is how to allocate services over multiple links. But don't worry, microwave link aggregation, lag, can solve this problem. Traditional air interface lag uses hash algorithms and performs load sharing based on service flow. This is similar to separating vehicle traffic into different lanes based on the color of goods and is equally unable to provide good load balancing. In contrast, Enhanced Physical Link Aggregation EPLA, performs load sharing based on bandwidth. This is similar to assigning vehicle traffic based on the capacity of different roads. It increases bandwidth usage and balances load. How does EPLA schedule and distribute Ethernet services among different microwave links? Scheduling and distribution are performed on the packet switching unit of network elements. The EPLA module on the packet switching unit encapsulates and distributes EPLA packets. It encapsulates Ethernet services into packets of fixed size and distributes them among member links according to the relative bandwidth of the links. The IF board performs modulation and multiplexing on Ethernet services and sends them using the outdoor unit. The network element on the opposite end receives these microwave signals, demodulates and demultiplexes them on its IF board, and then sends them to its packet switching unit. The EPLA module decapsulates the packets and forms a channel of Ethernet signals, carrying out end-to-end -end signal transmission. EPLA supports bandwidth adjustment and protection switching on links. Deterioration of a microwave channel triggers an automatic modulation, AM shift. And when this causes bandwidth to drop on the member link, the IF board on the link sends OAM packets to the packet switching unit to inform it of the bandwidth changes. The EPLA module redistributes service traffic among member links according to their relative bandwidth. This provides effective bandwidth adjustment. When hardware faults or serious deterioration on a channel causes a member link to lose its connection, the EPLA module stops distributing service traffic to the faulty link. Services are only transmitted on links that are operating normally. When this occurs, the overall transmission bandwidth of the EPLA group decreases accordingly, but high priority services are still able to be transmitted normally, implementing protection switching. After a link fault is corrected, the EPLA group returns to its normal transmission mode. That's all for today. Thank you.